Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how you can make a 3D simulation of a cannon launching a cannonball and knocking down a tower made of blocks. This program will have sound effects and it uses a combination of Python coding and Blender. First, let me show you what the result will be like. I have these files. Actually, for my program, I don't need this, but you will see what that is for soon. I run this one, and I better wait for it to minimize because it won't let me right now. Now, I click somewhere else on the screen, and before I can run this animation, I will bake the, the frames. So I go to Scene Properties, Rigid Body World, and then, let's see, I click Cache. Now scroll down, and here I can bake the frames. This will only take a short while. You can see they're going through the frames right now. Now it's done. I let me first Okay, now I press the space bar. Let's have a look at a view on top. this and then go back to frame one now if I select some blocks let's say this corner and I hold down the shift button so I can select some more let's say these corners and then I press the space bar they're all highlighted so we can see where they end up Hmm, let me just do that again. This time with some different blocks. Let me just randomly take some. And now I press the space bar. Now we are, we are able to locate these blocks. Now this one, the extra one, I will show you what it is right now. It is basically the same as the other one, only that this one, the ball is heavier and the cannon, I mean this plane is larger. Now I run the program. There's a still a stack standing. You can also see that since the ball is heavier, this does way more damage. If we want to see where this is coming from, this stack, we can simply select these blocks. Now the stack of blocks is selected. So I zoom out a little. And then, I move the frames back. We can see those blocks came from these positions. Now I run 
another animation again. And you can see how these jump into place. Oops, I forgot to select that. There. this. I mean the other one. First let's see what's in the one I ran. It's simple. We use os.system to call this blender link along with this python file and cd is basically stands for the current directory now, this is the most important one, the one that generates everything. First, I import Blender Python. I want to go to frame 1. And I set it to object mode, so that way we can add objects into the Blender file. I want to select everything and delete them inside the file. Because by default, Blender will give us something that we don't want, like a cube and a camera. Now, I set the mode, I set the sync mode to audio sync. This will let the audio go along in order with the frames. Now here, I remove any audio from the Blender file if there, if there is any. So that way our Blender file is empty. Now, I want to use gravity in this. And I set the gravity to negative 9.81. Here, I choose my animation to be 250 frames long. I create the ground, and the ground is just a plane with a size and location. The type is passive. Wait, here, I add rigid body to it, and that will make it be something like physics. Like when something touches it, they, something will happen instead of just going through it. I make it passive so that it will be stuck in mid-air. Nothing will be able to make it move. Collision shape is mesh. That is basically letting the collision shape be the actual shape. I have my friction and restitution. Restitution is like how bouncy something is. To create the building, here I choose my building to be 5 by 5 by 10. And it's basically stacking the blocks that way. You can see if I just change this to 20, I would easily get a taller building. The cannon tube is first a cylinder, then I remove the top face of that cylinder so it will be like a container. And that way I can add things inside. Now here I am making it passive so nothing can budge it. And collision shape and such. Here I create the cannon launcher. The cannon launcher is basically an object that's inside the cannon. And then that object is passive so nothing can move it. You will see what I mean soon. I have a... A cylinder half the height of my my cannon. Let me just draw a picture. Let's say this is the cylinder I made for a cannon with the top face removed. Then the cannon launcher is basically another cylinder that's inside that cylinder. So this part that's shaded is the, is the cannon launcher, I mean cannonball launcher. And the way it will launch the cannonball is, I will set the cannonball to be somewhere like this inside. It overlaps the cylinder, and 
Blender will see that it's not right, so when I start the animation, they will try to push it out of this object, push it out of the cylinder. The deeper I first put my sphere inside, the farther it will shoot. Here I create the cannonball, and you can see that the location is close to the location of the cylinder, which is the cannonball launcher. Now, since it's, ro since it's pointing up, I rotate the cannon so that it will point to the building or the tower. Finally, here I add the sound. You can see I have the address for the sound. And here I choose where to start them. Now I will run this program one more time. And if you want to, you can you can choose to save it after it's baked. For some reason, I haven't. Now, let's see. I go to Rigid Body World, Cache, and then I bake. Let me fast forward for you guys. It is done baking. Let's see if I can show you what's inside the cannon. Now, this is the bottom of the cannon. If I zoom in, you can see that's the sil this is the sphere. The actual cannonball and it is actually overlapping this other cylinder you can see this is the top of the smaller cylinder and I press the space bar This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is May 8, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, have a look at my other videos. They might help you into programming or math. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.